For this video, I wanted to go over recent updates to the IRS's FAQs regarding cryptocurrency transaction reporting on your Form 1040. So a number of years ago, the IRS added this question to the Form 1040, and the question asks, at any time during the year, this is the 2021 uh, question, but it said, at any time during the year, did you receive, sell, exchange, or otherwise dispose of any financial interests in a virtual currency. Um, so they've got this plastered on the first page now. It's a yes or no question. And there's a lot of confusion as to how do you answer this, all right? What, are, what do all these terms mean? What are some examples of when I would answer yes versus no? Now the idea here is the question, what they're really trying to get at is, did you have a transaction that is a taxable capital gain or loss during the year? Or did you receive cryptocurrency as income, meaning that you perform um, some service or you sold a product and you receive cryptocurrency in exchange for that? Under those types of circumstances, you would have to report some type of income on your return. And that's really what they're getting at here. So they recently updated their FAQs to add this question. Uh, I'll put a link below to the IRS website. But it's a number of questions on there. And the, what they did was they inserted uh, a question 5a so there was already a question 5 for the prior tax year and they added this one to try to attempt to offer even more clarification so the question um, in the FAQ says well the 2021 form asks whether at any time I received sold exchange or otherwise dispose a financial interest in any virtual currency during 2021 so that this is the perspective of the taxpayer I purchased virtual currency with real currency and I had no other virtual currency transactions during the year. How do I answer this question? The answer from the IRS is if your only transaction involving virtual currency were purchases of the virtual currency with real currency, you are not required to answer yes. In that case, you would answer no. Right, so again, what they're trying to get at here is that if all you did was take US dollars, or if you had euros, British pounds, if you use fiat currency to simply buy another type of, or, or not another type of, but a type of virtual currency, so uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it might be, if that was the only transaction, then you can answer no. And the reason for that is because that transaction, that exchange there is not a taxable event in and of itself, okay? So when you have currency, so real currency as the IRS likes to call it, and you use it to purchase virtual currency, uh, that is not a taxable event. It's only taxable when you have property to property type transactions. And so I'll talk about that in the next slide. So let's look at uh, some examples here. Okay, so, <clears throat> What's an example of where you would answer no again? So we have John, he's a taxpayer, lives in Florida, and he decides he's gonna buy some Bitcoin. So he opens a Coinbase account, he puts in 2,000 US dollars, and then he goes and buys 1,500 bucks worth of Bitcoin. He buys it when it's trading at 50,000 US dollars a coin. So the $1,500 gets him 0 0.03 BTC, that's what's in his wallet. Now based on this alone, if John does nothing else, this is a no answer to that Form 1040 question, right? Because all he did was use U.S. dollars to buy Bitcoin, not a taxable event, okay? Now, it's not taxable, again, as I, as I stated on the earlier slide, because simply using currency to buy property, right? Remember, the IRS considers virtual currency to buy property. When you use currency to buy property, that is not a taxable exchange, okay? It's only if it's property for property. And we'll see that in the next example. So here's where you would answer yes. So we have Jane, she's a US taxpayer and she lives in Texas. Now in 2020, so we're talking about the prior year here, Jane opens a Coinbase account, puts in five grand. She buys $2,100 worth of Ethereum when the price was 350 USD per one ETH, okay? So after she completes that transaction, she has six Ethereum coins, and on our 2020 Form 1040, she can answer no to that question. Because again, the only thing that's happened here is she has used fiat currency to buy 
virtual currency, which is property. Now, in 2021, the value of Jane's ETH holdings appreciates uh, from 2100 bucks to 8400 right? Because the value of ETH went up from 350 per coin to 1400 per coin, right? So now Jane has an unrealized gain of 6,300 US dollars. Then in 2021, she decides, well, I think Ethereum might go down and, I, and I'm more bullish on Bitcoin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an order in through Coinbase to sell my ETH and get Bitcoin in exchange, okay? So it's just a swap for the two. Now, under U.S. tax rules, swapping property for property, right, the sale or exchange of property for other property is a capital gain transaction, or I should say a, a, either a capital gain or loss, depending on what your unrealized um, uh, appreciation or depreciate, depreciation was in the initial property. So in this case, she had that unrealized gain of 6300 as soon as she swapped out the Bitcoin for the, uh, for the ETH for the Bitcoin, that's a sale or exchange under federal tax rules. So at that point, she's got a 6,300 capital gain. And she also has to answer yes on the Form 1040 question because she had a sale or exchange of virtual currency during the year. Swapping one crypto for another crypto is what you would have to answer yes to on this question. Okay, so um, let's see. So I, I think that covers it. I hope that was helpful. Uh, try to clarify, you know, some of these, you know, nuanced rules. But um, yeah, remember, be very careful as how you answer that question. Again, just to recap, if if you really only are, and this is the only transaction you have during the year, if you have U.S. dollars or any other type of fiat currency. So again, British pounds, euros, whatever it might be, if you have those. Uh, that currency and then you buy another type of crypto that's okay that, again because there's no taxable event at that point you're just using the currency to buy that property so not a taxable event it's if you sell the cryptocurrency for us dollars or another fiat currency or if you sell or exchange the crypto for another type of cryptocurrency so there's, there's two triggering events there did you have the crypto to begin with and you sold it, you cashed out for US dollars or another type of fiat currency, or did you have the crypto to begin with and you sold or exchanged it uh, through, for another type of cryptocurrency, whether that happened through the exchange or you just found some other guy that had Bitcoin and you had Ethereum and you wanted to do a swap, right? So you sent it to his private wallet, he sent, it, he sent the, uh, whatever he had to your private wallet, that's a sale or exchange, right? So that would be a taxable event for U.S. taxpayer, and you would have to be answering yes on the tax form uh, to that question on page one. Okay, so um, yeah, that covers it. Thanks again for watching. I uh, hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Happy to answer any questions I can, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thank you.